Okay, I'm going to show you another friendly frame. This patient, imagine, has a fracture of the bicondylar fracture of the upper tibia or a fracture around the knee joint. I'm going to make a frame perhaps you don't know. It's going to be another one of my friendly frames because it allows the patient to get around better than some of the frames you may have seen. So we're going to use some of the newer components. This is the double bar with the fixed double bars. And I've already installed the pin group. And I'm going to slide that down one finger breadth and then tighten it in place. You see it's very convenient. It, it already has the posts are already there. So it's an easy, easy to use component. So that's the frame below the fracture, which is the fracture is here somewhere or it's a dislocation of the knee. Now I'm going to install a uh, a hoop up here to connect to this. The reason I want to use the hoop is it gives me more varus valgus control than just a straight bar. A straight bar doesn't give you enough, in my view, enough varus valgus control. So here I'm going to put one pin in and you need to stay with these pins a little bit posterior to avoid being in the knee joint, to avoid being in the supracondylar pouch. So I'm going to put one pin this is on the medial side. I obviously don't want to be too posterior here because I don't want to be in the femoral artery. So I'm medial anterior. I'm putting one pin. And then I'm going to put one on from the lateral side. And those pins are just across from each other. Maybe one's a little superior to the other so they don't bump into each other. Now I'm going to clip these on like this. Now, particularly, there's a lot of force here at the knee joint. There's a potential lot of force here, so I always add a third pin so I have a pin out of plane. And that pin is not going to be exactly like the other pin. It's coming from the lateral side, and it's going to aim uphill a little bit. So it gets another plane of fixation, and what this pin does is it keeps the upper ring from rocking. So I think a third pin is almost always necessary for this frame. Now you will find very useful this wonderful new multiple articulated clamp for bringing this pin to this ring most conveniently. So there we go. And you see how that nice that makes any angle you want there. And here now you can pop off these and tighten this all in place. And the advantage of this configuration, this now this ring can't rock because it's locked by this extra pin. Okay, now, the basic frame, if it's a small patient, two bars are enough, but for a big patient, I like three bars. So I'm going to put one bar with a five here, take this bar from here up to the ring here, like this. Here and there. And that gets me my basic single bar in place. And the advantage of this frame is it gives varus valgus control at the knee joint. So the patient is not screaming in bed every time somebody comes near the leg because the leg feels solid. Unlike the long frame, which you're used to, this frame gives control, bi directional control of the tibia. It's, it's good in flexion extension and it's good in varus valgus. So I'm going to tighten this one here. And then I'm going to put in two more bars. I'm going to put one bar from here. And I know you're not used to this frame, but let me assure you that the patients are much more comfortable because the frame is more stable. Friendly fixators, which I promote, are stable fixators. They don't move and jiggle when the patient moves around. They give good control over the joint so the patient can get out of bed and walk around without feeling discomfort because of motion in the fracture site. Yes, it's a few more components, but if the patient is more comfortable and requires less narcotic and less medication and can get around better and can get to the bathroom and stuff like that, it's less expensive nursing. Give them all a little tighten. Now, say you need to fix a lateral tibial plateau fracture to begin with, you could take out this bar and leave the frame on and put a plate here, it wouldn't be any trouble. 
Let's see, this frame has no bending at the knee joint because it's got bars in two different planes, these two sidebars and one bar in front. So it's a very stable frame based on five pins and very, this is my idea of the knee spanning frame, maybe a little different than you have seen, but it's a friendly fixature because it's a stable fixature. <laughs>